Welcome everyone, this is Like It's 1985. Today's review is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Armor Hide. Uh, Armor Hide is a uh, militarized doom buggy. He is uh, primarily a dark forest green and he uh, very, has very nice uh, paint applications. As you can see, he's got the uh, in silver uh, color defense and the Autobot logo and then some numbers up here. 50 and 80, uh, as well as along the side, we've got the Nest uh, Alliance, Human Alliance uh, logo. Uh, even the uh, tail lights are, are pretty nicely detailed with uh, vibrant red and yellow, or more like gold actually. Um, you can just make out a uh, some seats in there, some that uh, at least pass for seats anyways, as you can see. Uh, take a look at the front grille. Looks like we've got a little spotlight there. Whoops. A little spotlight there. Uh, got another row of lights here, painted kind of a, a, a golden color. So very nice, very detailed. You can see the bottom of the uh, vehicle here. And uh, in addition, you've got this weapon here. Now it does actuate like this. That's primarily going to play a role in the uh, in the robot mode, but it does come out. Let's go ahead and uh, take it out and take a look at it. It's uh, got some uh, ammunition here loaded, uh, little uh, handles for the uh, weapon. So very, very nice. It's a, a nice detail, nice that you can detach it. Um, and uh, the other thing about the, uh, the vehicle mode that's worth mentioning, and it's also advertised in the box, this uh, vehicle does have springs. As you can see, you can push down and it pushes back up. So that's very cool. Um, see if you can maybe make them out here. Um, yeah, you can kind of make them out. See the the, the springs are uh, where you, where actually you would expect them to be in a real car. So that's really nice as well, as you can see. And here is a closer look at the top. I guess these are kind of like uh, maybe gas or fuel containers. So you even it even has some detail in the back of the vehicle as well. As for the directions, there are all there are only seven steps, so very uh, easy for a deluxe class figure, which is nice for reviewers like me. So to begin the transformation, uh, first thing they do is they tell you to remove the weapon. Uh, next thing you need to do is pull out the uh, doors, which, as you can see, will become the arms. Once you've got the doors out, uh, you can work on the uh, the legs, uh, these get uh, separated from the main body of the car from there. Then you pull the uh, legs apart, and they're simply folded on top onto each other. So we've got these legs coming out like that. Um, for the wheel assembly, it's on a slider, so you want to slide it this way. It'll automatically drop down, and this tabs right into here. There's a little uh, tab hole there. It's going to tab it in place. Uh, we'll do the same thing over here. Slide the the uh, wheel assembly over. There we go. And tab it in place into the uh, piece of plastic there. Finally, what you need to do with the uh, the bottom of the leg, these pieces um, get rotated down here like that. There's a little uh, indentation so that kind of keeps them in place. You just kind of like that. And then adjust the. Well, that's the other thing about these pieces here. I was going to say, tell you, the uh, tail lights, they come out pretty easily, and I don't think they really needed to. I think they could have designed it so that uh, these kept in place much better than they do. But anyways, these become his uh, knees. So now you've got the uh, the bottom taken care of. For the top, uh, go ahead and just. Uh, Bring these uh, arms out a little farther. And then what you're going to do is bring the front of the vehicle down. The, as you can see, the uh, two wheels would go between his main body and the uh, arms. So you just kind of pull it down like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually tab it in place. Right where my finger is there, there's a little tab hole. Just uh, tab it so that it is uh, securely in there. There we go, hear that snap there. 
Uh, as for the head, uh, bring the head down like that. This piece that was covering that, that where the head was, uh, put it down like that. And then as far as the arms, just go ahead and bring out what were the chairs in alt mode, which will become, well not chairs, but seats, sorry about that. And um, on these uh, seats, you can see they have uh, these little uh, claws. And then you take this piece, this small green piece, and kind of uh, uh, bend it a little bit so you've got a little uh, hand thing going on there. Same thing on the other side. Take that black uh, claw out and kind of fold in the piece, the, the green piece. And then back here where the gun mounts, it also mounts there in robot mode. So you stick it in the hole there. And then uh, because it's on a hinge, it can hinge forward and slightly over his shoulder as you can see. So he has a nice, that, that weapon is also used in his robot mode, which is good. In terms of his articulation, he's got a ball jointed head. Uh, his arm can go like that and can rotate. And uh, because it's the ball joint right there. Uh, you've got a uh, couple ball joints, uh, one at where the, the elbow would be as you can see and one at the uh, wrist. Uh, there is waist rotation, ball jointed hips, so you've got a wide range of movement there. Uh, it does bend at the knee but that's mostly because, well that is because of the transformation. So, yep. So pretty articulated especially from the uh, from the waist up. And here we have uh, Deluxe Armor Hide in his robot mode. Um, as I said before, very easy transformation. Uh, the instructions only so show uh, seven steps. And despite having an easy transformation, he still is a, a very nice uh, transformer, both in his alt and robot mode. Um, uh, I like the fact that they, again, use this weapon uh, also in his robot mode. Um, and he looks, uh, he looks as detailed as he does in his uh, alt mode, so that's good also. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, final thoughts. I, I can always appreciate uh, an easy transformation, especially when I'm doing these uh, transformer reviews. Uh, but like I said, just because this is, was an easy transformation for a deluxe sized uh, figure, it still was enjoyable. Um, there's nothing wrong, I don't think, with a with an easy transformation as long as he, you know the results are good uh, both in the alt mode and the robot mode. So I would have to say uh, I, my recommendation definitely pick him up. If you like, if you like the military style uh, dune buggy look then uh, this is the transformer for you. Um, I'm glad I got it. Uh, I kind of picked it up not knowing that, that the transformation would be, would be so easy but more so I picked it up because I thought hey you know I usually get sports cars uh, you know sideways, side swipe, uh, and that sort of thing. So I said, well, let me get uh, a different kind of vehicle and, and, and try it out. And I'm glad I did, and I think you should too. All right, uh, this has been my review. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Deluxe Size, Armor Hide. Go out and get them. Catch you later.